Good morning, besties. Happy Thursday. Feels good to be vlogging again after my last video kind of took off. I do plan on doing more clothing hauls and bikini hauls and try-ons and stuff like that because that seems to be what you guys love and I've gotten so many new people here because of it and so hi everyone if you're new my name is Morgan. We have fun around here. My stomach is hurting so bad for no reason this morning but I'm gonna make a quick trip to the store. I do have work today. Gross. We might talk about that later but I do want to make a quick trip to the store because I'm trying a bunch of new coffees, three to be exact, and I ran out of my creamer. So I really need to get some more. So I'm gonna make just a quick trip. It feels so weird getting in the car because like working from home or just being home all the time, I never get in the car anymore. And if I do, it's usually Zachary driving because we're going somewhere together. Makes me miss my car though. I have my nice Scentsy in here. It smells good all the time. It's nice and cozy. Two different kinds. This one is my OG. This one is really good, has a good flavor. The only reason I'm trying out another one is because this one sometimes the oat milk flavor like overpowers it. And I've noticed that with like all oat milks and oat milk creamers, like it's very strong flavor and takes a lot away from the coffee. Coffee Mate Natural Bliss. I did not realize this has prebiotic fiber in it, but okay, cool. This is an almond and oat creamer. So I'm hoping it'll be a little bit like lighter and not such a strong oat flavor. I'm gonna go up and get dressed and we'll come back down for coffee. Here's my outfit. We picked it out together on TikTok, so if you missed it, go watch it. You've probably seen this outfit before. I really was vibing with it during Christmas season. But anyways, I'm so upset because one of my TikToks just got removed for violating community guidelines. Anyways, I... I'm gonna make my coffee. So I'm going to be trying out a new coffee this morning. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm trying out three new coffees. One of them I have tasted already. So sorry in advance, but I will be drinking it again in a couple days to let you guys know what I actually think about it with the new creamer, all of that stuff. Just to show you the three flavors I did get, they're all from Stone Street. And I've talked about Stone Street many times before because I used to buy their original, just like plain cold brew grounds. After doing some research, they have a bunch of different flavors and they come in whole beans, which you guys know I'm loving because I bought a coffee bean grinder. So the first one I got is this blueberry cobbler and this is the one that I've tried already. It's this one right here but I will be giving you guys an official review on it either tomorrow morning or Saturday morning. The next one which we're going to be trying today is chocolate raspberry and you guys these coffees when you brew them or smell the beans smell exactly like the name of it. So like this is I put a little cute label on there so I don't get them mixed up but this is chocolate raspberry and it smells just it smells just like chocolate and raspberries. It almost reminds me of those little, what are they, like Stony Brook, Stone Brook, Brook something, like little chocolate covered pomegranates and acais or whatever they are. It smells like that. If you know what I'm talking about, then thank you. And then the last one I got, which I have not even opened the bag yet, is creme brulee. But I'm going to get this one brewing tonight, so it'll be ready in the morning. I think I'm most excited about this one, which is why I've left it for last. And they're all so fun, easy to make, good price. I will link Stone Street down below. You can also find them on Amazon as well, if that's like easier for you guys to not pay shipping. I can link their uh, Amazon links down below too. But we're gonna go ahead and get started on this bad boy chocolate raspberry. How many mason jars can we have out at once? Here's four. This is a little bit more of the chocolate raspberry that wouldn't fit in here. So yes, I'm pulling them all out. He's spilling it everywhere. That is a one negative thing about mason jars is the pourability is like a one out of 10. I'm just gonna add a little bit of creamer. Like not too much because it is a strong flavor. Ooh, look how pretty she is. Okay, 
Okay, we're finally gonna taste this. Chocolate raspberry Stone Street cold brew with Califia Farms oat milk creamer. Here we go. Mmm. I definitely taste more raspberry than chocolate, and I hate to say it, but I think I used too much creamer because the creamer is very overpowering. But I can still taste the coffee a decent amount, and like I said, it's mostly raspberry flavored. That's kind of fun. I like it. I honestly think that these flavors were meant to be hot coffees. I just feel like a chocolate raspberry like hot coffee would be such a different vibe. I just don't really like hot coffee. I really have to be in the mood for it and it has to be really cold outside, which it's not today. It's like 65. Would I purchase it again? I think so. I don't know. I have to test out the other ones and see which one is like my favorite, but so far this one is good. Good morning friends, happy Friday. It's so early in the morning. We're gonna make our creme brulee coffee. This has been in the fridge for about like 17 or 18 hours, I think. guys back over to the official taste test location this smells delicious it's bringing me back to like vanilla just like vanilla flavored coffee you get like at work but like the good kind do you know what I mean oh yeah that's so good that's that is such a good flavor wow it could definitely use a little bit more sweetener but i'm trying to cut back on sugar and it tastes so really good without it that one's really good i would definitely purchase creme brulee again and i'm really curious as to how that one tastes hot as well like i said with the other ones yesterday i think they'd be all better as hot coffees which is something i'd never say before i finished my diamond dots it looks so good. I'm so excited to get it framed. Zachary finished his too, so we have two more left to do. I thought it would take us way longer than it did, so I literally thought we'd be done like just before Halloween. Yes, I know it's April, but I thought these took a ton of time, and it took less than a week. So we'll definitely be buying more. Here's Zachary's in case you wanted to see. His is cool too. His has a lot more characters in it, which I like. I think that's fun. Hey guys, I've officially lost it because it's still Friday and I'm gonna make a coffee. It's 5.30 p.m. I really want you guys to be able to see this blueberry one. I wanna get this video done and edit it out for you. I also, like I took a nap today. I'm just feeling like sleepy. I don't wanna go to bed like early. Like I wanna go to bed at like 10, like normal. And I feel like I need a coffee to get me there. So I'm gonna make one. We're gonna have the blueberry one, the only one you guys haven't seen me try yet. I already know I like it, so honestly, I probably don't even need to film this clip, but I will just feel unsettled if I don't actually show all of them on camera. And I'm gonna try to use this new creamer since I didn't try it yet. has officially become the coffee tasting ledge. You guys are on a window ledge if you couldn't tell. Whoa. Are you kidding me? That hits different. That coffee flavor mixed with that creamer, so fire. I think I used too much creamer, but I kind of love it because it's really sweet. That is so good though. The the coffee flavor, I just called it blueberry, but it's blueberry cobbler. So it's blueberry with like cinnamon and stuff. This is the one, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one. If you're going to buy any of them, blueberry cobbler and get that creamer. Link down below for you. I will link you the grounds if I can find them, but I'll definitely link you the whole beans because I know they exist. I bought them. Haha. <laughs> Now that we have our 5.30 p.m. coffee, I'm gonna go outside. Let's go like stand outside for a sec. Bub is eating dinner and he's looking at me because I said the outside word. It's been a beautiful 70 degrees today. Not too warm, not too chilly. I really wanted to go outside and tan today because I took the day off. I don't know if I told you guys that already or not. Um, called out sick. I worked for 30 minutes actually and then called out sick, which is silly, but whatever. I needed a mental health day. 
Ah, oh, it's so beautiful out here. Wow. Vibes. Vibes all around. It's kind of like sunset season. And by sunset season, I mean when the sun sets at like 7.30 and it's like the perfect time to watch it like after you've had dinner and you can just chill on the balcony and watch the sunset or like drive to a cute little place and watch the sunset. We recently discovered an area behind our house. You kind of have to make it over this like big mountain hill thing, but once you get over it, there's like some dunes. Not like sand dunes, they're made of like dirt and kind of like rock-ish stuff, but people take their toys out there and ride the dunes back there. And it looks really fun. My parents have a razor, a two-seater, I think. So that might be fun to like go do one day and it's right behind the house. But I don't know, talking about sunsets just made me think about it because the sun sets in that direction, I guess. There's a ladybug on the wall. Do you guys want to see it? I feel like I never see ladybugs anymore. I feel like they were only around when I was in elementary school. He's so pretty. <laughs> Bubba, you see the ladybug? You see the ladybug? Don't eat it, don't eat it. No, 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 no. Thank you, be nice. Well, you guys, this video was kind of short and kind of all over the place, but we tested three coffees. We loved all of them. My ranking would be blueberry cobbler, best. Then creme brulee, good classic, sweet, nothing too crazy to it. And then the third one would be chocolate raspberry. And it's still good, just the other two are better than that one. And there's a bunch more flavors on their site. So let me know if you want me to review them. It'll be a little while before I do, but I definitely can still review them. Let me know. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. I appreciate all of you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.